Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. So today is kind of a special video because it is all about Mr. Bunky. You guys have actually been requesting this video for a while and you love seeing all the sandwiches that he makes. So this week, every single day for lunch, he kind of filmed what he was having and he's gonna show you guys a couple different sandwiches. We have some egg salad, Waldorf chicken salad, and then a really, really good like turkey and bacon sandwich. Yep. <laughs> Okay, Bunky. Uh huh. Since we had so many croissants available, uh huh. I figured that for all these sandwiches, croissants always pair very well with salads. So that's why we got egg salad and chicken salad. Mm -hmm. And I really love turkey on a croissant as well. Yes. So, like, I get real excited whenever you go to like a little party or whatever, mm -hmm. and they have these kind of sandwiches that I made. That's true. And I normally don't ever have these. That's true. So I'm, I was really excited about all these all week. You know what I love on a croissant? I love to heat it up and then melt some butter and then drizzle some honey. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Yeah, one thing that people didn't see was that um, croissant I made with avocado spread. Oh yeah. And a fried egg and some of that everything bagel seasoning. That was good. That thing was good. I could have put some bacon on top of we that. We should have showed you all that. I totally forgot. I know. That thing was good. One, one other thing I wanted to say, <laughs> Bunky, is that I found uh -huh. that when I ate the rest of my egg salad the next day, yes. and that chicken salad, they only get better with time, people. I mentioned that in the video. Okay, good. <laughs> it's facts, though. Yeah. So Mr. Bunky is bringing you guys some really good lunch ideas and I hope you guys will enjoy them and get some good lunch inspo for you and your family. And if this is your first time here, then be sure that you hit that subscribe button before you leave. We would love for you to join the fam and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see some more of Bunky's sandwich creations, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so today's sandwich by Mr. B is going to be egg salad. Have you ever made this before? Nope. I'm so intrigued. <laughs> But I like eating it, although it's one of those things I don't ever make for myself, but we just happen to have these eggs that we made the other day, so yeah. I'm going to make some egg salad. We boiled some extra eggs the other day, so we have tons of them, and then Bunky said, I guess, um, I don't eat egg salad, so he said that most egg salads have like relish, right? Sweet relish. Sweet relish, but we don't have that, so we were like, we're going to try and dice up this jalapeno very finely and put that in there to give it some flavor. Mm -hmm. And then tell us your other ingredients, Mr. B. Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, of course, and... Some black pepper? Black pepper. And probably a little bit of paprika. Okay. So it's kind of going to be like a deviled egg salad, really. I kind of I think that would be really good. And I saw something, too, where people put bacon in there sometimes. Okay, we can put some bacon. I don't know if I'm going to put bacon in it. You just put, like, little strips of bacon on top. Like when you we'll toast your bread like a sandwich. We'll see. Okay. Or, that one lady told us to put vinegar in the water when we boil them, and we didn't. Mm, we did not. Remember? Yeah. You're oh. getting it. That one person said you can just run a spoon underneath it, and then it takes the whole thing off. You want to try? No. Can we just try one? What if it breaks it? It's not going to. Let me try. Oh, there's like water in there. Mm. Oh wow. Did she, it work? Yeah, she was right. Shut up. It like gets the whole thing off. Okay, thanks lady. Sorry. <laughs> how much jalapeno I should go for here. I think we're just gonna maybe... Do half? Well, this is fresh jalapeno. It's gonna be hot, you know? Yeah. Are you gonna de-seed it? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I should go ahead and try and do that. You're cutting this very strange. I know. I'm just going after it. I'm just getting after it. You know what, Bungie? This is your recipe. I ain't even gonna tell you. 
it's an it's an exploratory recipe. <laughs> So that's a pretty good bit there. Mm -hmm. Let's check the the heat level. What is it? Um, that's not a real hot one at all, actually. That's really more of a. That's weird. It's not hot at all, actually. You could do like one or two of your little pickled jalapenos too. You know, I thought about that too, man. I would just throw like two or three of those in. Maybe just some of the juice. Oh, yeah. What about just like regular oh. pickle juice? Not the jalapeno juice, but just regular pickle juice. Talk about experimental. <laughs> but you know what? You might be creating something that is incredible. Who knows? You know, all of these things though did cross my mind. So, it's not too crazy. Okay. How much would you guesstimate that is? Oh, I would say realistically two tablespoons. What do you think? I was thinking it was closer to a quarter cup. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. But he is two tablespoons. I think that was a quarter cup. I really hope that that's not too much. You will listen to me and not him. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do about a... Oh, how much is that? One tablespoon. Okay. What did you want to have? A, a, gener a generous tablespoon. Okay. And then I like black pepper, so. Let's see where that gets us. Okay. We're going to put in a sprinkle of paprika. Okay. You think that's good? Mm hmm. And then, like a tablespoon of the juice. Uh, I don't know. Not too much of this to start. Oh, yeah, that's probably about. Okay, it. yeah. <laughs> Let's stir it up. You gonna take a bite? Try your creation. Good, ma'am. It's really good? Yeah. Okay. It has I like good, them. has lots of flavor. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And there you have it. Do you want some like bacon or lettuce or tomato on there? I thought about putting some tomato. <coughs> tomato on it, but I think I'm just going to go straight up. Okay. This is yummy. You really love it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bunky, I'm proud of you. That was a good creation. I know. That's good. So today for lunch, Bunky is making a chicken salad, which I don't know... Maybe we've made this one other time. Um, we're gonna do like a Waldorf chicken salad with some grapes and pecans and cranberries. And if y'all saw my Sam's Club haul, we had gotten this big package of chicken. It's like their rotisserie chicken for like $3.98, which is a steal. So we're just gonna use that chicken to make it. And Bunky is just chopping it all up and preparing it. Daisy Mae is over here howling for this chicken. <laughs> I think she loves it more than us. She's excited about <laughs> She's it. She's so excited about it. Should I toss her a little piece? Yeah. <laughs> it's behind me there. 
So for Bunky's Waldorf chicken salad, he is gonna be using some green grapes, celery, and then I picked up this little salad topper that has dried cranberries and candied pecans in there already. I thought that would be way easier and kind of less expensive than buying them separately. So he can just kind of add that in once he gets everything combined. He is gonna go ahead and slice the green grapes in half. That way they are just more like bite size. And then um, he did say he wishes he had green apple, or not green apple, red apple he thought that would be really good in there as well we just did not have any but if you do i would totally add that in okay B, show us the lineup for what you're going to be using in your chicken salad as your dressing a little bit of mayo yeah um i'm probably gonna have to add I, uh, that's not enough. I'm saying. Okay, well, he's also gonna do just a teeny bit of this Dijon and then like about a tablespoon of this honey mustard just to give it a little bit of sweetness. And then, of course, some salt and pepper. Here comes the honey mustard. Eventually, one of these days. Just wait for it. Is there any in here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! Monkey, get what? it out! Get what? it out! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Oh no! And it's all over all of my 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 good stuff. Well, I mean, you know what? It probably wouldn't be the end of the world. It's probably gonna taste just fine. I think you're gonna be just fine. There's a ton of chicken in there. Okay, so maybe a little bit more than a tablespoon. <laughs> Watch this be really good. <laughs> Hit it off the sides there. <laughs> Well, you know what they say. Don't measure over the bowl that you're cooking in or whatever. It's fat. But you know what? I'm not going to change my ways. Not as much of that, I guess. Yeah. But that will help balance out the sweetness. This is salt and pepper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pepper. Lots of pepper. Oh, that's too much. No. Yes. Seriously, like half of that. Is that good? Yeah, that'll that'll do. What do you think, Bunk? I think it looks good. Are you gonna eat some with me? I might take a bite. You should. I made this just for you. <laughs> so I heated up Bunky's little croissant. He's gonna have it on. We have loved these, by the way. Like. That is the greatest little deal at Sam's Club. And then everything's looking really good in here. But he did say he wishes we had a lemon because he thinks it could like take some lemon juice and definitely not as much honey mustard. But if we had some lemon juice, it would give it that acidity that I think it would be like perfect kind of cut that sweetness. But other than that, it is really, really good. And that is your sandwich for today. Mm-hmm. And now he's garnishing with celery leaves. The celery leaves. <laughs> Bam. You're crazy. So I did want to tell you that Bunky ended up having this the next day for lunch as well and he said that it was even better the next day once it kind of like sat all night and all the flavors married together. He said it was absolutely amazing. He would still add in the apple but other than that it was wonderful. Okay hey y'all, it is lunchtime. Let's see what Mr. B is making today. Okay Bunky, what is for lunch today? Tell us what you're having. Today we're having a turkey bacon sandwich uh -huh. on a croissant with tomato, caramelized onions, and a super secret ingredient you will see shortly. <laughs> okay, am I gonna start caramelizing your onions, B? Please. And then this is the turkey that we also got at Sam's Club, and then I'm gonna have to fry up some bacon for you too, right? Um, I was just gonna put it in the microwave and, and avoid that trouble. No. No. Because I want a piece and I can't eat microwave bacon. Okay. Okay. This is cool. Look at this. It's a resealable lift package. Oh. How fun that is, is that? That is nice. Have I'm you just... ever had their turkey? I have before. Mm -hmm. You like it? It's good. I'm more excited about that super secret ingredient though. <laughs> so I don't have to peel that, right? 
No, I'm still wanting to kill the outer layer. Do you want me to do this? Mm -mm. I feel like, no, no! Mm. Do not cut the side of that onion off. What? <laughs> do a slice, man. This way? Yes. You're always trying to ruin my vegetables. That's because I don't eat them, so I don't know oh how to gosh, do them. Oh my gosh, you're destroying my onion. Baby, I'm not! Just leave it. Look, I promise you, I'm just taking the outer layer off like you asked. No, she's ruining my onion. Bunky, I'm gonna kill you. Tell me that's not what you wanted, right? No, that's not what I wanted at all. What do you mean? I didn't want you to... I wanted you to cut a slice and take only the ring of that slice off. Like this. Well, now I can... You already did a slice. I can perfectly do this. You be sweet. You turn the bacon. the bacon made but of course we're like snacking on it so we're making a little bit more so Bunky has enough for his sandwich. We got that going in there and then Bunky's onions are looking really good. I'm telling y'all I wish I liked onions because I think they smell good and they look delicious. Okay sandwich king show us what you got. <laughs> How's it going on the other side there? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Score the tomato. Thin slices. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Okay, it's assembly oh. time. Assembly time. So. And Bunny did heat up his little croissant for like 10 seconds, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So we got our turkey. And let's see how much turkey we want. I think I've got three pieces here. Let me give it a nice little cross <laughs> section. <laughs> that makes a difference. Mm hmm. I get that piece. There we go. That's probably good, yeah? Yeah. I think, given the fact that we're throwing some bacon on here, too. Bacon makes everything better. We're gonna go a little bacon next. Do I have to do I have to save any of this for you? Just one bite. Okay, I'll do three pieces then. I'll take this one. You can have that. that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next, we're gonna go with the tomatoes, pepper on top of there. I like your technique, B. Mm-hmm. I forgot to watch. About your onions. Almost. The caramelized onions. Those look so good. Like, if I do say so myself. And I think when you, like, slice them so thin, that's what makes them even better. Mm-hmm. These are going to be good. All right. Okay. Now, we have a little crunchification. <laughs> Iceberg lettuce. A little lettuce. Covering up all that prettiness. Hmm. Sorry. And the secret ingredient. Tell us what it is. It is this jalapeno artichoke dip that we got from Sam's. From Sam's. We just tried it, y'all. It is really, really good. At first, I was like, I don't taste any spice, but then towards the end of it, you're like, oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah, but so it's not overwhelming. And it, I'm not even putting cheese on this because it, you know, this kind of has like a little bit of a cheesy texture. Yeah. It's almost like, well, I guess that's probably cream cheese in there, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> look at that. That is going to be so good. Let's see which. There it is. Land that on top there. 
Dang funky. Should we cut it in half? Yeah. We'll try. Hopefully we can get through that bacon. Ooh. Well, <laughs> could have wiped that off. And there you have it. Oh my gosh, Funk, that looks so good. <clears throat> try it. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Of course. <laughs> of course. That's good. All right, y'all. That's what's for Bunky's lunch today. All right, y'all, so that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got lots of great lunch inspo from Bunky and all of his sandwich creations. Leave us a comment down below and let us know which one you are most excited to make. Tag us in your pictures. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more sandwiches from Mr. B, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. Wiguchi.